Welcome back to It's a Vase Productions, where today I'm doing another George Carlin reaction video. Remember, if you're liking the content, don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Uh, every subscription helps. Uh, and for now, let's just get right into it. George Carlin, this one seems to be called Little Moments. Oh, yeah. Now I'd like to talk about a few things that bring us together, okay? Things that emphasize our similarities instead of our differences, which is all you ever hear about in this country is our differences. It's all they ever talk about. Politicians mm -hmm. and the media always pushing the things that separate us, things that make us different. That's the way the ruling class operates in any society. They divide the rest of the people. They keep the lower and the middle classes fighting with each other so that they, the rich, can run off with all the fucking money. Fairly simple thing, fairly simple thing happens to work. Anything that's different about us, you know that's what they're pushing at you. Fucking Racial idiots. differences, religious, ethnic, national backgrounds, jobs, income, education, social status, sexuality, anything they can do to keep us fighting with each other so that they can keep going to the bank. You know how I describe the economic and social classes in this country? The upper class keeps all of the money, pays none of the taxes. The middle class pays all of the taxes, does all of the work. The poor are there just to scare the shit out of the middle class. <laughs> now, Keep them showing up at those jobs. And it's worse now than it so is when he was So in the midst of stirring up the shit myself a little bit from time to time, which I enjoy, I do like knowing I can always come back to those little things that make us all the same. Little moments we share, universal moments, things that are so unimportant to us we hardly ever mention them to each other. Do you ever look at your watch and then you don't know what time it is? <laughs> so you look again and you still don't know the time. And you look a third time and somebody says, what time is it? And you say, I don't know. Do you ever notice how sometimes all day Wednesday, you keep thinking it's Thursday? And it happens over and over all day long. And then the next day, you're all right again. <laughs> Do you ever find yourself standing in one of the rooms in your house and you can't remember why you went in there? <laughs> And two words float across your mind, Alzheimer's disease. You ever been talking to yourself and somebody comes in the room and you have to make believe you were singing? And you hope to God the other person really believes there's a song called What Does She Think I Am? Some kind of putz. <laughs> Little experiences we've all had. You ever been sitting in a railroad train in a station and there's another train sitting right next to you and one of them starts to move and you can't tell which one it is? <laughs> How about when you're out on a small boat on a windy day? You ever been out on a little boat, windy day, rough waters, rocking back and forth, trying to keep your balance in a little boat and you get back into the shore and you get on the dock and you could swear there was something inside of you that was still out there rocking around. <laughs> Did you ever try to pick up a suitcase you thought was full, but it wasn't? And you go, Boo. And for just a split second, you feel really strong. How about looking through a chain link fence? Did you ever notice if you're just the right distance from a chain link fence, sometimes it seems to go, Doo. What is that? How do they do that? Do you ever try to tell somebody to have a little bit of dirt on their face? You can never get them to rub the right spot, can you? you? Say, you got a little bit of dirt right here. They always go, where, here? And you just want to slap the bastard, you know? Say, no, right here near your eye. You ever notice how awful your face looks in a mirror in a restroom that has fluorescent lights? Every cut, scrape, scratch, scar, scab, bruise, boil, bump, pimple, zip, wart, welt, and abscess you've had since birth all seem to come back at the same time. And all you can think of is, I gotta get the fuck out of here before they think I really look like this. This is not my real face. 
you ever notice when you're walking with your arm around your date, sometimes one of you has to change the way you're walking? <laughs> Men and women don't walk the same. One of them has to change. Either the man has to walk like this, or the woman has to walk like this. <laughs> Joey, how are you? How about when you're walking up a flight of stairs and you think there's one more step? And you go, and then you have to kind of keep doing that, you know? So all the other people will think it's something you do all the time. I do this all the time. It's the third stage of syphilis. <laughs> Same thing happens when you're going down the stairs, don't you? You could swear there was one more step. <laughs> Holy shit. My hips are in my chest. <laughs> when you drink grapefruit juice in the morning, do you go... <laughs> I do too. Why do we drink it? It's like ice cream throat. You know when you've been eating ice cream real fast and you get that frozen spot in the back of your throat and there's nothing you can do about it because you can't reach it to rub it, you just have to kind of wait for it to go away? And it does. Then what do you do? Eat more ice cream! What are we, fucking stupid? Did you ever wake up in the late afternoon? Sorry. Do you ever go to sleep in the late afternoon, wake up after dark, and you don't know what goddamn day it is? And you think, maybe it's yesterday. How about when you're lying with your head on the pillow? Do you ever notice when you have your head on the pillow, if you close the bottom eye, the pillow is down there. And if you switch eyes, the pillow moves up there. Whoa, holy shit, Dave, look at this. The mystery of the moving pillow. I think it's related to the chain link fence mystery, my friend. <laughs> Do you ever have to sneeze while you're taking a piss? <laughs> it's frightening, isn't it? It's frightening because actually you can't do it. It's physically impossible to sneeze while pissing. Your brain won't let it happen. Your brain says, stop pissing! We're going to sneeze now! Because your brain knows you might blow your asshole out. <laughs> and wind up having to paint the entire apartment. Something else we have in common, <laughs> flying on the airlines, flying on the airlines and listening to the airlines announcements and trying to pretend to ourselves that that's the way the English language ought to be spoken. <laughs> Doesn't sound that way to me. Whole thing starts when you get to the gate. Okay. First announcement. I we would like to begin the boarding that. process. I'm going to end it there. If you want to hear more about that one, you can listen, you can look it up. I've reacted to it. George Carlin flying on the airlines. Um, I was actually wondering if this was part of it, because I felt like I've heard some of those before, but I've heard a lot, so much of his stuff I can never remember what I have and have not reacted to. But man, that was... <laughs> and I like that. He acknowledges the fact that, like... Ah, in the beginning when it's just like, especially now with the world that we're in today, the media and politicians just want to point out your differences so they can control you. And I'm just like, God, God, it's just, yes, it's happening. And all the people in the crowd are just like, oh, 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 at that point, I'm just like, you idiots. Don't applaud that. <laughs> Uh, but then he talked about the similarities between us all. I think that was pretty hilarious. And that's literally stuff that I don't care who you are. Unless you're, okay. I, now I just thought of some ways that people couldn't experience some of those things. Like the stairs stuff. What if you're handicapped and you can't use stairs? <laughs>
Damn you! Um, not disabled people, just my own brain for coming up with obvious faults in my own argument. Hey! That was fun. Um, keep the suggestions coming in the comment, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.